Hey guys, my name is Logan and or Frost and welcome to Fallout 4, the good ending. How the hell do you turn on the power? Alright, so I'm assuming you did the good run. If you choose to do the evil run, then things are a bit different. If you choose to do the evil run in the nuke world and become the ultimate raider god and leak into the commonwealth and then start taking territory in the commonwealth, it's not a shocker there, I don't think that's a spoiler, you've probably seen that one coming. But if you choose to go about it that way, then just wait, do the story, get settlements, and then uh, at one point it will unlock. And you'll be taken to this location. Now this location, if you do the good ending, it, from my knowledge, isn't explicitly set so that's why this video exists so I'm willing to bet that a lot of you guys watching this video currently have done the good ending and have wondered how the hell you turn on the power well Bethesda says explore unless you want to be an evil bastard then they're gonna tell you but no, <laughs> most of you guys actually probably said, screw that, I'm not gonna spend 10 hours running around, and alas, you're at this video. And therefore, you did the good ending. For those of you guys who are completely confused about this segue, in order to do the good ending and follow Nuka World, you need to complete this quest called Open Season, in which you acquire this quest, um, is in the market. Go to the market, talk to all the vendors, and you'll get this quest. Um, it doesn't work that way, one particular NPC has it, but I don't want to spoil it, so just go do that. Um, complete the crazy uh, objective she has for you, in which, this is kind of a spoiler, but one raider boss will die. Three will die if you complete the quest, but anyways, <laughs> not the point. The thing I'm trying to get at is you need to at least kill one raider boss, and that essentially destroys the whole chain of events of Nuka World becoming the raider person, the raider boss, so therefore it'll force you into the good ending. Um, and therefore the door in this special location will actually be unlocked. Now the power station in general is located here on the map. It is right beside Nuka Galaxy, um, spawn there and then walk your way to the road, you guys can kind of see. <laughs> I'm trying to point it out with my my cursor anyways make your way there all that is awaiting you within that building um, is some ghouls kill the ghouls and start making your way up then when you finally get to a ladder climb up the ladder you'll be at the top of the roof and then find your way into here now this door right here will be locked if you have not killed a raider boss if you killed a raider boss it magically is unlocked and you can just go in as you please and from this point it's pretty simple you just walk up to the button hit the button and nuka will turn on um, tiny tip make sure it's dark out it's a way better show and there you go essentially the power is turned down now um, besides adding some neat factor to everything, um, the, from what I gather, a lot of the machines don't actually turn on or allow you to interact with most of them. There are there are a couple um, in the Kitty Kingdom that allow you to like squirt a squirt gun, gun, sorry, and you can actually see like the, the your score going up. But at a base level, it doesn't do much. At least from what I gather, I thought at least maybe it would like activate a series of events where you can start rebuilding nuke worlds slash making money with the rides or something but now nah, it didn't really do that hopefully a mod author in the future fixes that for me at least that's my problem i see in the in the dlc but anyways guys that brings us to the end of the video that was how to turn on the damn power um particularly if you did the good ending again if you did if you're doing the bad ending and you're wondering how this happens just proceed with the quest line talk to shank do his quest he will give you a mission and then there it will take you to this location and i don't want to spoil it so i'm gonna shut up now anyways for all of you who liked and maybe shared this video thank you so so much and bye guys hope it helped that's the weapon i never got before i'm not sure if i kept that in the video but i still to this day have not found the crashed um what do you call it the plane uh not plane <laughs> the saucer um the alien saucer and i've never gotten this weapon up and it's weird because what's the thing <laughs> my build is like always been really good like if you invest in guns uh gun nuts and just make craft crazy weapons you're gonna be a okay so i never really needed the the help of